Swinburne University of Technology. Engineering is the bridge between science and technology and the needs of society. Every year, the Swinburne University Engineering Expo showcases the innovative work of our engineering and industrial sciences students to secondary school students and industry. I sort of knew when I was going through high school, I always did the technical subjects and the, the physics subjects because I wanted to know why things, how, why and how things worked. So it was sort of natural for me just to go into engineering and mechanical engineering seemed like the, the best way to, to see how all of that stuff works in the end. I wanted to build something that can change the world, I guess. <laughs> I'm interested in things that can move, that can interact, um, that can sort of sense the world in their own way. That's what interests me. So I thought it's going to be engineering and it's going to be robotics. Engineering comes from the Latin ingenium, which basically means ingenious. So engineering is really all about coming up with ingenious solutions to any particular problem you might have. Engineers are really responsible for going out and looking at the world and saying, you know what, I just want to make things a tiny bit better. The Swinburne University uh, Engineering Expo every year is a chance for university students such as myself to show off their projects, what they've spent the year doing and uh, what they've managed to achieve. Key benefits to secondary students coming to the Expo is that they get more of an idea of what it is to be an engineer and what it is to study engineering. A lot of students know that they like the subjects related to engineering, but they're still not entirely sure what engineering is, and the Expo helps with that a great deal. For my final year project, I am doing a robotic hand controlled by a cyber glove. Pretty much incorporates mimicking the human hands and having a robotic hand follow that in real time, where it's not feasible for humans to go in hands in the environment. Uh, using Bluetooth modulation and wireless technology, we can have a robotic can go in there instead of a human. My project that I did as part of my final year was to do with sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a really prevalent sleep disorder in the world. It affects probably about 1.2 million people in Australia alone. And I wanted to find a way that I could incorporate certain techniques and technologies into a sleeker, smaller package um, just to make that quality of life a tiny bit better. Basically our project is a portable ECG to measure the heart rate. We're targeting people who are doing exercising. We have a portable ECG, but it's pretty big for a person to be plugged in and walking down the stairs, they have to be really careful. So we thought, okay, we'll go and build a smaller one. Every year Swinburne University enters the Australian SAE competition and every year we build a vehicle which is designed to compete against other universities in basically a very large competition. For my final year project our team tried to make an, an electronic stethoscope. There are a couple of benefits that you can get from an electronic stethoscope. You can amplify the sound, you can archive patient data for monitoring purposes and also you can get the computer to aid the doctor in analysing, detecting and diagnosing. We had the Christchurch earthquake in February. That really inspired us to look into um, the performance of subsurface infrastructure. When a, a pipe cracks it will leak and this is particularly bad for gas and wastewater because you can contam contaminate the area and it's also explosive. So we want to make sure when we're analysing all of our pipes we find out when it, the limit is for it to crack. For our final year project last year we built uh, Ruby the Rubik's Cube solving robot. Now Ruby is a robot that's capable of solving a Rubik's Cube in under 10 seconds. We had 500,000 hits on YouTube, uh, Channel 9 News wanted to interview us. It got all over the world, world coverage. We won a countrywide, nationwide ICT award, so the best ICT project tertiary in Australia, and we got a merit award in the Asia Pacific regions. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm building a new version of the robot. It's going to be smaller, it's going to be faster, it's going to be more reliable, and hopefully we'll smash our own record sometime soon. The Faculty of Engineering and Industrial Sciences at Swinburne University offers courses in Biomedical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Product Design Engineering and Robotics and Mechatronics. Swinburne University has a 5 star teaching rating and is one of the world's top 500 universities. The university has great facilities and offers industry-based learning as well as the opportunity for international study. The courses that they offer and the subjects you complete are really great. They really help you to learn the fundamentals but also give you lots of opportunities to learn and use those things that you've learned in practical experiences and 
uh, real hands-on projects and really have a crack at things. I recommend all girls, if you love doing engineering, just do it. Don't listen to anybody, don't say, oh, it's a male dominated, because it's not. Because you can do this like what we did. Not only is the teaching of good quality, not only are the materials good, but they, they give you the practical experience that all engineers need. If you like theory, we do a lot of that as well. We understand what we're doing, but the focus is on the doing, which is what engineering is about, and that's why you come to Swinburne. This has been a Swinburne production. Thank you.